children how are you all i hope all of you are fine children in previous class we have completed lesson number 8 yes textbook part and workbook part we have completed okay now we are going to learn lesson number 9 what is the lesson lesson name what is the lesson name a book for which okay all of you now take out your textbook okay take out page number 12 page number 12 a book for which go okay so all of you listen and say aloud okay words shape words starting with the f l sound the words starting with the f l sound okay f l y fly f l y fly f l a g flat f l a g flat word starting with the g l sound okay g l a s s glass g l a s s glass okay next glue g l u e glue g l u e glue okay next word starting with the s k sound okay s k i p skip s k i p skip s k i n skin s k i n skin next words starting with the s l sound okay s l i p slip s l i p slip s l e e p sleep s l e e p sleep all of you got it once again repeat along with me okay keep your fingers in your book and read along with me okay words starting with f l sound f l y fly f l a g flat word starting with g l sound g l a s s glass g l u e glue word starting with the s k sound s k i p skip s k i n skin okay word starting with the s l sound s l i p slip s l e e p sleep okay fly flap glass glue skip skin slip sleep okay children now what do you like to do in your free time children in free time you might be doing some work like you may draw some diagrams and color it that that means what your hobby is drawing you may say your hobby is drawing if you like to go and play cricket your hobby is playing cricket okay so in free time when we will do any other work then that work every time not only one time every time we want to do some work that is called to be as hobby do you think reading books is a good hobby yes reading books is a very good hobby when you read books you will get knowledge okay children and try to always read the books from which we will get knowledge and moral okay Let us read a story about a girl named Kuchku who loves to read books. Okay, now in this lesson we are going to read about a girl named Kuchku who always loves to read the books. So her hobby is reading books. Okay, children, is it clear? Now shall we read now? Yes. Okay. Kuchku, her bath. Kuchku spelling what, children? P U C H K U. Which school? Have a bath. Who is telling? 
Puchku's mother is still alive. Okay? All of you keep your fingers in your book and see your book. Follow. Okay? Puchku, have a bath. Puchku, eat your food. Okay? Are you all seeing pictures? Okay. See the sentence as well as the pictures also. Keep your fingers. Okay? Puchku, have a bath. Puchku, eat your food. Okay? Next. Puchku, go to class. Puchku, go to class. Puchku, do your homework. Puchku, do your homework. Okay? This is Puchku's mother. Okay? The girl is Puchku. Okay? So here, mother is asking, where is Puchku? Puchku is busy reading a book. Puchku is busy reading a book. Okay? Puchku reads all the time. Puchku reads all the time. Page after page, book after book. Means after finishing one book, she will be taking another book and reading. Understood? Next. Why are you always reading, Puchku? Why are you always reading, Puchku? Who is asking children? Boltu. Okay? Ask Boltu. Boltu is a friend of Puchku. This Boltu is asking to Puchku, Why are you always reading? Okay? Next. Watch a cartoon. W-A-T-C-H. Watch a cartoon. C-A-R-T-O-O-N. Cartoon. Watch a cartoon. Instead. I-N-S-T-E-A-D. Means what? Instead of reading books, you can watch cartoon. No. Who is telling that? Other friend. Says Dodla. Says Dodla. Dodla is the other friend of Puchku. Okay. Dodla is telling you can watch cartoon, no? Why are you always reading a book? Understood? Okay. Books are so much more fun. Books are so much more fun. Says Puchku. Who tells that? Puchku. Okay? Puchku says, Books have more fun. When you read books, we will feel very happy. Okay? Look. Do you see a circle? She is telling. See a circle. Do you see a circle? And this straight line. Okay. Push it. Pull, push it in. Pull that out. Push it in. Pull that out. Okay. And it becomes a letter. And it becomes a letter. Line up the letters. When the letters form, you can line up. Then a word will be formed. Okay. And you have a word. Words can be funny. Words can be funny. F-U-N-N-Y. Funny. Words can be sad. Words can be sad. And words can be sunny. And words can be sunny. Okay? When you put words together, they make sentences. When you put words together, then they make sentences. And sentences become stories. Sentences become stories. Read it and wish you are in another world. You are in another world. Okay. So what she is telling? First, see. Do you see a circle? Do you see a straight line there? Circle, straight line. When you push it and pull it, it forms a letter. And this letter will be forming word. Letters will be forming word. And then words will be forming sentences. After sentences, they will form together into story. Did you all understand what she told? Okay. What did, ask, what did she tell? Do you see a circle and this straight line? Push it in. Pull that out. And it becomes a letter. What is the spelling of letter children? 
L E T T E R letter. Okay. Line up the letters. And you have a word. And you have a word. Word spelling W O R D. Word. Words can be funny. F U N N Y. Funny. Words can be sad. And words can be sunny. Understood? When you put words together, T O G E T H E R together, they make sentences. S E L T E N C E S. Sentences. Okay. And sentences become story. S T O R Y. Story. Read it and wish you are in another word. When you read those stories, you will be in the another word. See next page. But today Puchku is sad. Today Puchku is sad. See sad expression. Okay. She has no book to read. She has no book to read. What will I do now? Cries Puchku. Okay. Wait. What's that over there? She whispers. As she looks up and sees Three shelves of books. Means up there are three shelves. In those three shelves she saw many books. And now she whispers in herself. Means says softly in herself. Wait what's that over there? Okay. And sees three shelves of books. Okay. But she is too short. She is too short and the bookshelf is too tall. She is too short. Bookshelf is too tall. Okay. How can Puchku get up there? Now how can she get up there? Children, see this page. Here are some pictures here. Okay. Maybe she can use a washing line or mask sari. How about the chairs and tables in the room? Okay, like this she can arrange and here she can climb up. Okay. So here, Puchku calls Boltu and Dodla for help. Okay. She calls Boltu and Dodla for help. Quietly they climb on top of each other. Okay, like this they have climbed to take the book from the shelf. Okay. Boltu, you are so heavy. You are heavy. Who said? Boltu, Boltu you are heavy. Dodla said. Okay, Dola complains. Complaints spelling what? C O M P L A I N S. Boltu, you are heavy. Apostrophe R E S T. That means you are. You are heavy. Okay, Dola complains. It apostrophe S. It's not me. It's not me. Boltu says. It's Puchku. Who is that? It is Puchku. Shh, almost there. Okay, almost. She was there to take the book. Says Puchku. Okay, just then it all goes wrong. W R O N G. Wrong. She was about to take the book. But what happened? They have fallen. Okay, what is happening there? It, it is very tall like it. Okay. The person who looks after a library is called as librarian. Okay. This librarian is asking what's happening there, children. Okay. Boltu and Dola run in. Puchku looks up sadly at the book she almost had in her hand. Can I help? She asks. Who asks? Librarian asks to Puchku. Can I help you? Okay. I was trying to climb the bookshelf to take out a book. Says Puchku sadly. Okay. I was trying to climb the bookshelf. To take out a book. Says Puchku sadly. Okay. Here she is helping. Who is this? Librarian. Librarian is helping the Puchku. Yeah. She is helping Puchku. Okay. Here librarian is helping Puchku. Okay. When I was small, I loved this book, says the very tall librarian as she gives a book to Puchku. Okay, she gives her one book 
and she told when i was very small like you i used to read this book okay then you were small once who is telling kuch ko as okay oh yes even smaller than you even smaller than you says the very tall librarian okay here but is kuch ko listening when she this librarian was telling to kuch ko that when she was small she used to read the book and all at that time kuch ko was not listening she is reading that book understood but is kuch ko listening spelling what l i s t e n i n g is kuch ko listening no she is not she is not listening okay because because spelling what b e c a u s e because because she is inside a new story now okay now she found out a new book so again she is reading book and she is in another world did you understand okay adapted from a book for kids who written by deepanjana pal who has written this story deepanjana pal okay children is it clear everybody okay children today your homework is you have to read full lesson once okay try to understand the story okay thank you have a nice